Okay, chapter four. Okay, we just need to skip ahead to the, the new bits that we haven't done before. Okay, so this is something that is going to be a little bit different. This house that we we're about to raid, first time I played through, I went first, and it turned out the door was booby-trapped. So, this time, I've got the option. Let's send Bryce in. I'll wait here. Okay, no problem. Let's see what happens. I don't know. I watched as Bryce made his way to the front door. Looking around, I scanned the windows of the building for any sign of movement. When Bryce reached the door, I wondered how he would make his entry. Would he try and be quiet and sneak around, hoping to find Reese unprepared? Or would he barge in and rely on his strength and speed to apprehend him? Though, shortly after Bryce opened the door, an earth-shattering sound echoed across the sky. Oh, shit! There's the explosion! Bryce just got blown up. <laughs> oh, curiosity uh, might have killed the Bryce. I can't believe he's already gone. Oh, fuck! Bryce got killed! Sorry, Yoshio. I just don't know what to say. Uh, uh, oh shit! <laughs> All the responsibility falls on me now. And Reeds are still out there somewhere. The case is just beyond our capabilities. We were already at a bare minimum before this, but with Bryce gone, I just don't know what we should do now. I've already requested help from one of the cities. I hope they send someone good to help out. At least we reclaimed everything else that was stolen. Well, except for the eggs. I don't want to have to explain to the parents how their children were killed in the explosion. Oh shit! <laughs> All of the generators were just sitting inside there. It makes me think the Rizzo must have left in a hurry. And we got so close too. It was his hideout for crying out loud. He probably just saw us approaching and left before we even had the chance to apprehend him. You know what? We can't stop now. If anything, it's only proven that he's even more dangerous than what we thought. If Reason can make bombs out of generators, who's to say where he will use them next? We've got to stop him. Are you with me? Totally. Regardless of Bryce's death, we have to try our best to proceed with the investigation for his memory and for the sake of the town. At least Reza doesn't have any generators for now. All the stolen ones were accounted for inside the building. Okay, what else have we got? When we searched the building, we found more than the things Reza stole. We also found this bloody bandage. Do you think it's his? That's what we need to find out. But given that all we know, it probably is. So he's wounded then. We know he was injured during the fight with his first victim, but whether this is from the same wound or something else, I'm not sure. In any case, you can bring it to the lab for us to find out more. No problem. Next, we have a witness who reported hearing loud bangs during the night. We'd like to send someone to make a follow-up visit. We'll need to confirm the witness's statement and then see if he has anything new to share. Okay. Also, now we've reclaimed your PDA, we're going to send one to the Archives for Analysis. Since they have experience with human artifacts, they're better suited to do it than any of our departments. Alright, sweet. In any case, I'll just leave everything here until I get to it. So feel free to do these tasks as you wish. I know it's laughable that we don't even have a free hand for simple errands. No problem, don't worry about it. Anyways, I should get back to the investigation now. I'll leave the stuff for you here, and I'll take care of the rest once I get back. Sure thing, good luck. You too. Okay, so Bryce is dead. Okay, we got to take the bandage to the facility. That's going to be Anna. Visit the witness. Or take the PDA to the library. Uh, as we're doing all the Anna stuff at the minute, let's head to the facility. When I approached Anna's lab, I saw her sitting on the hallway floor. The door to her lab wide open. Yo, Anna, what's up? Cheer up. Oh, it's you. What's going on? None of your business. Okay, fine. <laughs> What do you want? I was going to drop this evidence off for you, courtesy of the police. You know what? You can march right back and tell them they can do their tests themselves if they think they can play games with me. I guess that's a no then. Some idiot complains. They mess up my place and then turn around and ask for my help. Is that a joke? Bastards. The lot of them. What are you doing here? Go and tell them now. Okay, fine. <laughs> you better. Okay, that's weird. Okay, we got a uh, Remy. Visit the witness. Who's the witness? Oh, who's? Where are we now? Hello, hello. Oh, this is someone new. Can I help you? You must be Ipsum. Is that right? Sure. I'm working with the police and hoped you could answer a few questions. Because I responded to your call for witnesses about last night, correct? Yep. 
Okay, what do you want to know? Can you tell me what happened? Sure, I was running an experiment on my home laboratory and waiting for it to finish. Around 2am, I suddenly hear a few bangs outside. They reminded me of a small explosion. It sounded like they were coming from just around the corner. Okay, did nothing about this seem unusual to you? Not really. I know, I've caused a few similar disturbances with my experiments before. If someone else decided to take up home experimentation, they certainly have my approval. Besides, I wasn't in any position to abandon the experiment that I was running at the time, or else it could have had a similar outcome. Yeah, you don't want that exploding on you. Okay, that's all. No problem. Cheers, Ipsum. Oh, uh, sure. Thanks for your help. Now that the facility has received the bandage, maybe we'll discover something new. No, I got kicked out, mate. Not the case. I brought the bandage back. Why? I'm not sure what's going on, but apparently the police raided Anna's lab, so she wasn't in a condition to accept it. Is that so? Strange. I haven't heard about this. I've got to talk to the others. Actions like that will stall the Rita case, and that's not something we can afford right now. I'll take care of the remaining tasks, so you can take the rest of the day off. I'm sure you've got things to do other than the help of the police department. It's no problem, really. My trip to your world wasn't supposed to be a vacation. Okay, see you next time. Bye.